What's going on? It's your boy Bass Ain't Easy. So today, let me get this camera up. The angles right, make sure I'm hitting all my angles, you feel me? Not your boy Bass Ain't Easy, man. Today, I actually went to Dick's to get some gear to like go fish. So we're going to Lake Ann tomorrow. Um, and I ran across, I almost got a loose pole combo, but it's been too much money for that, but I didn't get that. But anyway, I ran across a mystery tackle box that I've never seen before. Drum roll, please. I don't know if y'all hear that, but it's a mystery tackle box mother load. I don't know if you see that. Let me see, get my face out of the camera. Mystery tackle box mother load. That's crazy, right? And I was like, dude, like, what? $80 value, 12 to 15 baits, a fun, affordable way to discover new fishing products. Well, let's bust it open. We're gonna see what's, what's, what is really hidden for. You feel me? Like, is this worth it? How much was it? Some of y'all may ask, it was $59.99. And luckily I get military discounts, so I got like $10 off. But still, that's that's a pretty hefty price. So, you know, 12 to 15 lures. I definitely hope I get some stuff I want. So I'm gonna just go through all these lures as I bust it open. Um, yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any comments or anything that you wanna want me to address in videos or add to videos or you know stuff you think I should work on, like definitely throw them in the comment section below. I read all my comments. I respond to all. Excuse me. I respond to all my comments and I look forward to all my comments. Like, y'all make me happy, man. So those out there that are commenting, man, I appreciate y'all. It's a select few, but y'all go hard, man. Come on, camera. Don't look at me. Here we go. Scissors. What y'all want? Soft plastics first, or should I just get straight to the meat and potatoes? I don't know. As I look at the box, I'm going to pull out what I think. I might go least favorite to favorite. And then, y'all let me know in the comments what you liked about the box and what you didn't like about the box. We got some juice up in here. So we got some shimmer swimmers. 10,000 fishing. Some little swim bait trailers. These are pretty good. Those are pretty dope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those are pretty dope. Uh, strobe stripes. Enhanced with ultra reflective. Three to five inch. It's pretty good. They're a little smaller on the small side. But uh, they're on the smaller side. So that, you know, fall fishing. You go with smaller baits, and that's what gets them. So these are dope. I do definitely want to throw some swim baits tomorrow, so I might be throwing these. What else we got? Some bio bug, bio scent, bio spawn, collapsible body. I don't know. I don't know what these are called. They look like little bugs, little banditos. Vile bugs, they're called vile bugs. These are pretty dope. Um, I think these are a Catchco exclusive type of brand. I think Catchco has like their own brand of like lures and soft plastics that they're making. I think mostly it's soft plastics right now. Don't don't quote me on it, but yeah, these are dope right here. I definitely plan on throwing these on the back of a Texas rig. And I do want to throw a Tokyo rig. I did buy some Tokyo rigs, so I definitely plan on throwing that. So this will definitely be a dope trailer. And these are the Vile Bugs from Vile Spawn. Let's see. Sick. Sick. What else we got in here? Jigs. We got a hard hat jig, diesel jig, football jig by Catchco. So as you can see, the trend right now is there's three baits by Catchco. So Catchco is definitely trying to make more of their own baits and they are incorporating them in their tackle boxes a lot more. So if you haven't noticed that, pay attention to it. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of them. I just haven't thrown them, so I can't be a fan of something I never use, you know, so. This is a nice little color. Got a little green pumpkin with the blue in it. Football jig, can't go wrong with a football jig. Gotta cover my face up so it'll show it for you. Can't go wrong with a football jig. So these are definitely pretty dope. 
I'll definitely end up throwing this. So if I had to say, I'm three baits in, and I would throw all three of these. What we got here? Um, Jinko Fishing CD7 Silent Diving Crane Bait. So me personally, I have not got on the wave of crankbaits yet. So this right here, I may throw, I may not throw, honestly. Um, I may not throw it right now, you know what I'm saying? Like I will probably throw it eventually once I like get to the crankbait stage of my fishing career, you know? But right now, I just I just don't really throw a lot of crankbaits, man. But maybe that's my fault, man. If you got any tips on how to throw crankbaits, where to throw crankbaits, I already know where to throw square bills, you know? But crankbaits are a little different, man. When you start messing with that deeper water, I feel like you really gotta pay attention to your electronics. You really gotta know what's going on up under that water to really make sure you're pinpointing fish and um, you're throwing the right bait at the right time. So it's pretty dope. I don't think I would throw this one as much. So I'm, I'm, it's three to one right now. Three to one. All right. Mm. It's a lot of it's a lot of baits in here, man. Good lord. I know I said I wanted a frog, but ding. Big frog. We got a super soft popper frog. They spelled it P-H-R-O-G, frog. They got a little hood in them. I like this one. This might be the frog right here, man. They got a little slang on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, super soft. I'm actually gonna take this one out, man. Those that don't know, like, I love frogs. I'm a paddle tail frog guy myself. Like, I'm going to go to, like, I'm throwing a paddle tail, you feel me? I like the action on the legs kick, and I get bites on anybody at water. I throw a black one with the red flake on it. Ooh, shoot, that thing smells like a little kid's toy. Oh, that's a big frog. Got a little booty on him in the back. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see, cut my face up. Got a little butt on it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely pretty dope, though. You hear that? So you get that water out of there. Pretty dope, I like this. This is something I will throw. I will definitely throw this. Oh, what else we got in here? A scout, Google scout. What color is this though? This is a... Pro blue. Um, I don't know. I haven't really gotten to these. This is, I think it's like a, yeah, jerk bait, yep. It's like a little jerkbait type style of bait. Um, I haven't really got deep down and dirty with the jerkbait game yet, but definitely plan on getting there eventually. Um, so will I throw this right now? Like, is this on like my work to get better at baits? Yes, will I throw it right now? No. Have I been throwing jerkbaits? Yes, I just started throwing jerkbaits. Um, you know, there's so much stuff to throw when you're fishing, man. Like you never know what you actually, it's just so much stuff, man. Like the the, the, the freaking, the list goes on and on, man. You never know what you're gonna throw. You never know what you wanna throw. You find out stuff that you like, it catches fish for you, so you get stuck on it and you don't expand or go outside of your uh, comfort zone. So, this is definitely, those are definitely some baits that I need to go outside of. Another little square bill. Another Carl's bait. Pay attention, y'all. They, 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 they ain't trying to do us dirty, but they definitely are putting their baits on display and I like it. It's a good marketing technique. Hey, we're gonna, you know, first couple of boxes, we're gonna give you a bunch of other stuff, throw one of our baits in there. Then we're gonna throw two of our baits in there. Next thing you know, you get in the box full of Carl's baits. But hey, we're gonna test all these Carl baits out. I'm gonna do a straight shop Carl's baits video. That's all I use all day. And I wanna see if they work. I know they're gonna work, you know what I'm saying? But. I feel like it's only it's best if I do it for y'all and y'all see it. Proof is in the pudding, right? That's what they say, right? So my grandma is still. So not a bait I'm confident in throwing yet, but I would definitely throw it eventually. We got some stuff in here, man. Three out wide gaps. I'll probably use these tomorrow. Hey, I'm all about the Eagle Claw wide gaps. Hey, I've been using Eagle Claw since I first started fishing and I was fishing with my uncle and my cousins and we just fish for catfish. You go get some Eagle Claws. They sharp, they get the job done. And they not that expensive. So you know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's four out though. Four is a little big. Four is a little big, man. I'm a three out guy myself, but 
So I don't know if I'm gonna throw these right away, but I'm putting these on this other side. I don't know if y'all watched my last video, but I definitely had one of these and I lost it. So appreciate you, Carl, um, for blessing me with another one of these. That's pretty dope. Um, I definitely lost this one, and now I got it back. So it's good. I'm not gonna speak on this one too much. All right. Then next we got a Hummer Buzzbait. Look, Google Squad Action 38 ounce Buzzbait. I do love Buzzbaits myself. I usually throw black Buzzbaits. Um, I don't know what color y'all throw. Let me know in the comments. Um, I used to throw black ones. The white one's not bad though. But I do love a nice buzz bait. Uh, I just got started on buzz baits like a few months ago. And whew, man, the bite is crazy. But I just a quick little cap on that. Like, I usually catch all my buzz bait fish. So when my trailer is like starting to sink under the water, is when I get the bite. It's kind of weird because you want it to be on top of the water, right? But like, I get most of my bites off a of buzz bait when my bait is starting to like really starting to sink. Because you know, as soon as you cast a cast a buzz bait, boom, you got to start reeling immediately, or it's gonna start sinking just because of the weight on it. And um, I get most of my bites when the, when the frog is sinking, or my, whatever my trailer is sinking. So maybe that's how you supposed to fish it in reality, you know? And then let the blade do the top water work, and then you have like the the bait, like so the blades on top of the water. And if you can see my hand, blades on top of the water and the, Buzzbait is right under the, your trailer is right under the water, so the blade is kicking water up, but they also see something tracing it. So it's like I don't know, maybe it's giving that. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. You feel me? Last bait, y'all. We got us a Google Squad Hound. Uh, sexy Shad. Can't go wrong with Sexy Shad. Everybody eating Shad. I'm eating Shad. Bass eating Shad. Everybody and mama eating shad right now. You know, if you ain't chasing shad or you ain't heard the term chasing shad, then you need to watch more fishing YouTube videos. Real talk, like, you need to go watch more YouTube. I got my videos too, so if you, after this video, just go on my playlist, Bass in the 80s, and you just click start. Just let it run from the top to bottom. You'll probably enjoy yourself. I hope so. I think you will. But sexy shad, dope bait. Not gonna be throwing this right now. Just not my cup of tea. And then you also get. A sticker, a book. Uh, find out if you want. Go to into your mother. Enter the promo code below to find out what you may have landed. All right. So I'm not gonna show you this code, but go to mtbmotherlow.com. Enter the promo code below to find out what you may have landed. There's a chance to win a low stinger 175 bass fishing boat. Google Squad rods a ton of the prizes. Let's see. We're gonna put the rest of these baits up right quick. We're gonna go check this out and see if I want. I will be doing a video like me fishing these baits. Um, it may not be tomorrow, because I got something planned tomorrow, but I definitely will be doing a, a video of me fishing these baits. See if the mother load box does catch a mother load of fish, you feel me? Um, I think it will though. Some good baits in there, definitely some good baits in there. Let me check this website out real quick. Watching gonna be like, hey, okay, you put your code in, now you gotta freaking pay $15 a month. You know how they do. Hmm. All right, my internet, my computer's not working. I'm gonna try the phone.
Uh oh, here we go. Come on, camera. There it goes. Enter my promo goal to see what you have won. Well, y'all, I did not win. Sorry, your promo code is not a winner. So, that's unfortunate. That would have been nice. I definitely do. I can't say too much. I'm not going to speak on that. But, definitely nice to win a boat. Like, shoot. What? But. Anyway, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a Mother Low Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. I will be fishing with this on another episode or another video sooner than later. I don't know yet. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, go get one for yourself. It's up to you. You know, you see what came in the box. Pretty good stuff, decent stuff, depending on what you're throwing, what water you're working, uh, where you're at, you know. So, hope you enjoyed this video. It's your boy, Bass and Easy Man. If you haven't already, make sure, if you made this part of the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button mean a lot to me almost at a thousand on the road to a thousand subs trying to get monetized you know like that's the goal right you know um yeah man it's your boy bass and easy man i will catch y'all on the water